So one of these children, so if they were going hungry or you came up, up, upon some hard times, would you kill one of them? If I was in an extreme situation, yeah, I will. Sir, by what standard will you judge what, I'm, what we're saying today? By what standard, outside of your own opinion, will you judge anything that we say today? Because it, you haven't given me any standard that you have for judging what we're saying. Which one? Of the Bible. Because in the Bible says we were, we were created by the image of God. Yep. But what happens to the other civilizations that live outside of the earth? What if they don't look like us? I'm asking you today, sir, why is it okay for you to bring your baby here and to murder them when you know it's wrong? Let's focus on that. Is it okay to kill a child? Is it okay to murder a child? So you think it's better. So one of these children, so if they were going hungry or you came up, up, upon some hard times, would you kill one of them? If I was in an extreme situation, yeah, I will. See, that shows that you have murder in your heart, sir. You, you have murder in your heart. It's better to become a murderer and kill a child. I think that you need to do what's right today, sir. And I need you need to stand up and be the man that you've been created to be. You know what you're doing today is wrong. You know that you're murdering an innocent child today. And you will be held accountable regardless of what you say you believe. There's only one truth. The Bible says that death comes and then the judgment. All of us will stand before him one day. It says that he hates the hands that shed innocent blood. And you know your conscience is knows that what you're doing today is wrong. So an innocent child's life is in the balance today. And uh, my question is, are you going to do what's right and protect that baby? Or are you going to sit in your car comfortably while you pay someone to murder that innocent baby? Well, like I say, I don't believe in what the Bible says. It doesn't matter if you believe what the Bible says. I'm asking you about the baby in the womb today. Your child, your innocent child that you're paying somebody to kill today. I'm asking you to do what's right today and don't let that baby die just like you would do for these children. Will you do that today or will you sit in your car comfortably while your baby is getting poisoned, maybe torn apart in there? You drove her here to kill your baby. That's the fact. Will you do what's right today? So you know, so you know what you're doing today is murder and you're doing it anyways. Well, you, you know why you're saying that? Because you're making excuses for your sin today. You're giving approval to your actions. But that doesn't matter, sir. Is it a human being? Is it a human being? It's a human being. It's going to become a human being. Is it a human being? So it's human being from conception. It's, it's just as human as these children in the back seat. But what you're saying is because you've come here and you, you want to do this, that it's okay. That's all you're doing. You're making excuses for your actions. Does that make it moral? Uh, you know that slavery was legal one day, at one point in time? So, right. So, so, so it's, it's evil, right? enslaving someone is wicked and evil like forcing them watch out your child's choking sir your child's choking you okay well sir i'd hope that you do the right thing because you're going to be guilty of murder after today sir and you'll have to stand before god and i'd hope that you would turn from that sin before it's too late but regardless of what you believe, there's only one truth. There's only one truth, and it doesn't matter what I believe. It doesn't matter what you believe. What makes you have the truth? God's word. God said, right? God said, you shall not murder. Why do I believe in the Christian God? Because God has revealed it to me. Because God has revealed truth to me.
The Bible says that all of us know God, His invisible attributes, His divine nature have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made. So all of us know truth. All of us know that God exists, the one true God. The, question, the problem is, is that we suppress the truth of God in our unrighteousness. We trade His truth in for our own truth, where we become our own gods, where we do things like say, well, I don't believe in God, so I'm, I can murder my child which really all we're doing is making excuses, allowing for us to, to have our sin because we love our sin more than we love the true God. So everyone knows God. The question is, will they, will they believe in Him? Will they trust in Him? Will they turn from their sin and be saved? There is salvation in believing in Christ, but it begins with repentance. It, mean, it begins with having a change of mind from turning from your sin to believe in truth. So regardless of what anyone believes, there's one truth, there's one way to, to be saved, and we all know that murder is wrong, but we do it because we love our sin more than we love God, more than we love truth. Well, I know you don't agree, but the reason that you don't agree is because you want to murder your child today and you're going through with that, and who would want to believe in a God who says you shall not murder when you're gonna go through with killing your baby? It would be like uh, condemning yourself. But what I'm calling you today to do is to do what is right because you know what's right and wrong. I don't have to tell you that, but you're choosing not to do it. You're choosing to say, I don't believe because this is what you want to do. You want to kill your baby. Would I be correct in that assessment? Yeah, so I'm correct. I don't think you are correct. So, so you're saying that it's not a baby, right? You're you're saying it's not a baby, but I'm sure that that make that works out well in your worldview. You don't want to think of yourself as a murderer, but you're coming in here today to murder your child. God's word has said that science has confirmed that it's a human being. We don't we're not murdering an animal in the womb. We're murdering a human being, right? It, but I don't just call it a human being, it's a fact. I, it's not my opinion. Whether I believe it's a human being or not, it is. Would you agree? We can say it is. It's not thinking right now. That doesn't matter. Does it make, it does it make a difference? If somebody's in a coma, does that make them not a human being? If I was in a coma, I would ask them to uh, disconnect me after some Okay, that's your, that's your choice. But see, there's a baby in the womb that doesn't have a choice today right you're taking that choice away from your child you're taking their their humanity away from them right you're taking their their ability to to choose away from them right so you're you're violating their body today you're violating their manhood and their humanity by taking that decision away from them when when you're supposed to be the one who protects them because you're the father you're, you're, you're called to protect these children. You're called to protect your wife and your child, and you're not doing so today. Instead, today you're paying someone to kill them. Does that make sense? Well, I guess that makes sense. So you're, still, you're just gonna sit here and you're not gonna do anything? Yeah, but like I say, it's, you can choose if you wanna have it or not. You can choose. You can choose to be a murderer or not, but the, the fact is that you will be a murderer after today. But you know what? You're going to have to stand before the ultimate judge one day. You're going to have to give an account for your life. And you're going to stand before him guilty of the blood of your own innocent child. And the Bible says that hell awaits. To eternal torment, punishment awaits. That's what you believe, but I don't believe I'm going to have to... Uh, well, of course, of course you don't because you don't want to be held accountable. Anyone who, who doesn't want to be held accountable for something will just deny that it exists. But you know in your heart that it's wrong because you have a conscience. You know right from wrong. But what happened if God is real? Did he already knew that I was going to do this today? I'm sure he does. Yeah, he's all knowing. When did he do that? He's all knowing. He's known from all eternity that you would do this today. And he knows. He knew that I would be here. What's that? Yeah, he's always known. Yep, 
He knows all things. He is in control of all things. That's right. He's controlling me to be here. Well, no, you're in control of your own actions. You, but he is in control of everything. You're under judgment today. You're under God's judgment. And I'll tell you how. Your thinking has brought you here to kill your own child. He's handed you over to your sin, to have what you want, your sin and not him. But by doing so, he's given you over to do things that aren't good for you, like killing your own child. Well, to me, it doesn't make sense because who created uh, the, the devil? What's that? Who created the devil? Well, God did. Why did he create it? Well, you, why, why are you asking me why he created them? Because to me, it doesn't make sense about God. Like, he created murder. Do you believe in God? I say I believe in a God, not in the God of the Bible. Okay. So you're saying, why did he create Satan? Yeah, why did... Who created the, like, the... Bad God created everything. Everything... Why did he create it if he doesn't want us to do it? Why did he create it if he doesn't want us yeah. to do it? Well, in the garden, Adam sinned, right? Sin came into the world. We're all children of Adam. Therefore, sin has been passed down to us. So we are all by nature children of wrath, children of Adam. We are sinners by nature. But God calls all men everywhere to repent, to turn from their sin. Well, uh, Adam, uh, but the, the apple, right? Yep. What's that? God knew he was gonna fight the Absolutely. Then why he the, the I, that's God's will. He already knew, like God already prescribed everything. He's gonna buy it. That's right. These three guys are gonna be talking. This other one is gonna murder their kids. Yep. He like tried everything like a movie. Right. Regardless, so, though, of whether he created it that way. Well, well, no, no, you're culpable. Well, you're culpable for your sin because you want to do it. Walking, I mean, shoot all of us. That means God already have the prescription. Yep. That was God's choice. Not right. Our choice. So, so there, everyone is culpable still for their actions, and I'll show you why. Because you have sin, be, because you have sin in your heart. He didn't tell you to do that. He ordained it. Yep. He knows, and he, he knows, and he ordained it. But that doesn't mean that you can't turn from your sin today, right? Because do you do you do you know what's supposed to happen next? Do you know what's going to happen next? You don't, right? So you have the option today of turning. So God could have ordained today for you to turn from your sin and to save your child, regardless of what God ordained. You're living in His world. You're making decisions, and you have a decision to make right now that you can go and rescue that baby. You're just saying. I'm not going to do it. So don't blame what God does or what God created. You're still making the decision today to kill your baby or to rescue them because you don't know what God's will is. So I'm calling you today to do what's right. And there has to be a standard of right and wrong. God says murder is wrong. You shall not murder. Then, then he created murder. What's that? This murder is wrong, but then he created it. Why are you concerned about what God did and didn't create? He's just telling you not like, to do it. Don't do this, but I'm telling you to do it, and you're going to pay for it. Right? Like, don't murder, but I, I'm telling you to murder, and then you're going to pay for it. He's telling you not to murder, and I told you the reason that you're... He knew, knew, he knew but you don't. And he but you don't know. I don't know. Right? So it's, know, know but he tells he tells you in his script, in his playbook, he says, you shall not murder. He says, repent and turn from your sin. Okay, he says, you shall not murder, but then you're going to murder this uh, person and this But you don't know what God has told you to do, right? You don't know what is going to happen. You don't know the future. You don't know the past. God has control of everything because then that's not a good God. That's an evil God. Says who? By what standard? Like, let's say you, you told by what kid, standard? You told your kid, hey, go shoot that guy. That kid doesn't know. But I'm asking you today, by what standard are you judging that if something is right and wrong? You just said murder was okay. Actually, is that the same standard that you're using? But the murder is okay. I don't think murder is okay. Bro. But you're doing, you're committing murder today, based on God's standard. 
So why are you asking me anything about morale today if you're saying sometimes you got to do what you got to do? He doesn't approve of murder. You know how I know that? His word. He said, you shall not murder. But you're asking me questions and, and you don't have any standard of truth. What is right and wrong in your worldview? What is right and wrong in your worldview? I think we know what's right and wrong. So, so why aren't you rescuing your baby right now if you know what's right and wrong? Because I know about myself and I know if I can have it or not. You know by yourself if you can have it or not? Yeah, I know if I can take care of or not. I know my situation, I don't know your situation. If you so in what situation is it okay? Is murder okay in your worldview? What situation is murder okay? So you don't have an answer, right? So is murder ever okay? In your situation, you just told me that this baby wouldn't go hungry. You're not starving. So that's so you've made up a standard for yourself because it doesn't have a conscience. It's okay. So are, so are you God? Are you God? Are you God? But you just made up a standard for which you're living by today. You said if it has consciousness I sh if, or not, I should be able to kill it. So, so let me ask you, if it's at 12 weeks, is it okay to kill it? It, it has consciousness then. 12 weeks? Then I guess not. See, here's the thing. You're creating a standard for yourself. It's not based on any truth. It's not based on any foundation. It's based on a foolish foolish thinking that you've made up. Well, so you, if I'm foolish, then God is foolish to me. I, I, I don't know how that logic works out. American Holocaust More than all the soldiers lost in every single war It's an era marked in gold The innocent